Tesla just did something no one expected. They built a car for seniors. The long-rumored Model 2 isn't just affordable. It's engineered for comfort, simplicity, and real-world usability. While Volkswagen rushes to fix its touchscreen chaos, Tesla designed a cockpit older drivers can actually trust. Clear, tactile, and smart. But why did Elon target seniors first? And what's the shocking reason behind it? Let's dive right in! Tesla's next revolution didn't begin with a new battery or an AI breakthrough. It began with a quiet realization that technology had gone too far for too many people. While most car makers were chasing bigger screens, hidden menus, and abstract design philosophies, Tesla asked a question no one else dared to. What if the future of driving wasn't about more tech, but better human connection? That question became the foundation for the Model 2, the car that finally acknowledges an overlooked truth. America is aging. And yet, the automotive world still designs as if everyone is 25. Over one-third of all new cars sold in the U.S. go to buyers above 60, but most of them struggle with the complexity built into modern vehicles. Voice commands that mishear them, touch screens that demand attention, features buried under layers of digital confusion. Tesla saw what happened to Volkswagen, a brand once trusted by generations, as it replaced every button with the touchscreen and turned driving into a test of patience. The backlash was swift. Surveys showed frustration peaking among older users who simply wanted a car that felt natural again. Every detail tells the same story. Empathy through engineering. The door sills, for instance, are only 14 inches high, allowing effortless entry and exit. A small change, but one that reduces physical strain by nearly a quarter. Seats now adjust across a 10-inch range, accommodating almost all adult heights, and the subtle grip handles, those polished metal arcs near the door, were designed after Tesla's team observed drivers with arthritis struggling to pull themselves in. It's not designed for aesthetics. It's designed for dignity. Inside, the materials strike an unexpected balance between luxury and durability. Tesla's synthetic leather lasts 60% longer than traditional fabrics, resisting wear, heat, and humidity without the upkeep of real leather. Every surface wipes clean in seconds. A thoughtful nod to the 75% of drivers who say they value easy maintenance above all. And even the screens, long seen as Tesla's playground, have evolved. The fonts are larger, the contrast higher, and for the first time, there's a senior mode that slightly slows the voice assistant's pace, improving comprehension and reaction time. These aren't flashy upgrades. They're signs that Tesla is designing for the people who actually live with their cars every day. But the boldest decision isn't what Tesla added. It's what they brought back. Physical buttons. For years, Elon Musk insisted the future was touchscreen only. And yet, the Model 2 reverses that dogma with confidence. Not a full return to the past, but a new hybrid model. Essential controls, climate, volume, lights, hazards, are assigned to textured buttons that sit within six inches of the driver's natural reach. They glow softly at night, respond instantly even with gloves, and function entirely offline. If the system crashes, the controls still work. That small choice solves one of the biggest psychological barriers in EV adoption. Fear of failure. More than half of senior drivers report anxiety about software glitches or system errors. Tesla turned that fear into trust. The cost? About $75 more per car. The result? A 30% jump in perceived quality and satisfaction during early testing. 
In an era when competitors like Volkswagen are spending billions to undo touchscreen backlash, Tesla managed to get the balance right the first time. There's a quiet genius to this approach. What looks like a gesture toward accessibility is actually a strategic move for market dominance. Seniors represent over $2 trillion in annual spending power. They buy fewer cars, but keep them longer. They want reliability and transparency, qualities Tesla now delivers better than almost anyone. Combine that with an ownership cost under $4,000 a year and annual savings of around $400 from over-the-air software updates, and the Model 2 becomes less of a car and more of a financial equation that sells itself. And then comes the ecosystem advantage. While competitors struggle with fragmented charging networks, Tesla's supercharger grid cuts energy costs by up to 30%, making long-distance driving cheaper and easier. Add the company's in-house insurance program, which can reduce premiums by 25% for older, safer drivers. And you begin to see the full picture. The Model 2 isn't just designed for seniors. It's designed around them. The convenience, the lower costs, even optional home servicing for drivers with mobility issues. It's a web of support no other automaker can match. Yet, there's something deeper going on here, something Elon hasn't said outright. Designing for seniors is more than empathy or economics. It's preparation. The same design principles that make Model 2 accessible. Larger icons, slower voice prompts, simple controls, are exactly what will make future Teslas ready for full autonomy. When the day comes that cars drive themselves, the transition will depend on one thing, whether people trust the system. That trust begins with familiarity, and the Model 2 is building it now. In a strange way, Tesla's most futuristic car is also its most human. It acknowledges what every driver secretly wants. Not more technology, but more control, more comfort, more confidence, that's the emotional power behind this machine. While others compete to look advanced, Tesla has chosen to feel advanced. It's a subtle but seismic shift, one that could redefine the entry-level EV market for a decade. For years, we've been told that innovation means removing what's old. Tesla just proved the opposite. Sometimes, true innovation means bringing back what people loved and making it better. Now, the question is no longer whether the Model 2 will sell. It's whether the rest of the industry can adapt before it's too late. Because once drivers experience the comfort, simplicity, and clarity of a design that genuinely understands them, going back to anything else might feel impossible. And that's where the story takes an unexpected turn. This isn't just a cheaper Tesla. It's a statement, a declaration that progress isn't about dazzling people. It's about listening to them. As Elon Musk once said, good design is invisible. The Model 2 might just be the first electric car to prove him right. So, what do you think? Is Tesla's shift toward simplicity a stroke of genius? Or a quiet admission that the tech race has gone too far? Drop your thoughts below. The debate is wide open, and the future of driving might depend on it. And this is exactly why the Tesla Model 2 isn't just another electric car. It's a turning point. Tesla has quietly proven that true innovation isn't about adding more technology, but about making technology disappear into simplicity and trust. The same philosophy that empowers senior drivers today could shape the future of autonomous mobility and even influence how we interact with machines beyond Earth. This is the real legacy of the Model 2. A reminder that progress starts when design finally serves people, not the other way around. So, what do you think? Will Tesla's human-centered approach change how the world drives? 
Or is it just the first step towards something even bigger? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you found this breakdown valuable, make sure to like the video, subscribe to Tech Revolution, and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next deep dive into the breakthroughs shaping our world. This is Tech Revolution, where technology meets purpose, and the future is already accelerating. Tesla just did something no one expected. They built a car for seniors. The long-rumored Model 2 isn't just affordable. It's engineered for comfort, simplicity, and real-world usability. While Volkswagen rushes to fix its touchscreen chaos, Tesla designed a cockpit older drivers can actually trust. Clear, tactile, and smart. But why did Elon target seniors first? And what's the shocking reason behind it? Let's dive right in! Tesla's next revolution didn't begin with a new battery or an AI breakthrough. It began with a quiet realization that technology had gone too far for too many people. While most car makers were chasing bigger screens, hidden menus, and abstract design philosophies, Tesla asked a question no one else dared to. What if the future of driving wasn't about more tech, but better human connection? That question became the foundation for the Model 2, the car that finally acknowledges an overlooked truth. America is aging. And yet, the automotive world still designs as if everyone is 25. Over one-third of all new cars sold in the U.S. go to buyers above 60 but most of them struggle with the complexity built into modern vehicles. Voice commands that mishear them, touch screens that demand attention, features buried under layers of digital confusion. Tesla saw what happened to Volkswagen, a brand once trusted by generations, as it replaced every button with the touch screen and turned driving into a test of patience. The backlash was swift. Surveys showed frustration peaking among older users who simply wanted a car that felt natural again. Every detail tells the same story. Empathy through engineering. The door sills, for instance, are only 14 inches high, allowing effortless entry and exit. A small change, but one that reduces physical strain by nearly a quarter. Seats now adjust across a 10-inch range, accommodating almost all adult heights, and the subtle grip handles, those polished metal arcs near the door, were designed after Tesla's 